it is a gorgeous morning oh my gosh beautiful beautiful morning it's supposed to be either nice today or tomorrow I can't remember but again I'm enjoying this lovely weather as always on my way to work um, this truck is kind of bothering me here yesterday I actually got some pretty good sleep I slept really good last night and so I am glad about that I actually am wearing makeup today I actually felt normal today and actually wanted to wear makeup today yesterday I didn't wear makeup because I was just not feeling it I didn't feel good yesterday I was tired I was cranky I didn't sleep well the night before you know like I said in the vlog that I was up at three o'clock in the morning I mean I woke up early again today to edit the vlog and get it uploaded by the way I got yesterday's vlog uploaded already so that's gonna be linked below I wasn't feeling good yesterday I woke up at three o'clock in the morning to work on the vlog and I just was already up and so today I was just like alright I am I'm gonna wear makeup today and actually feel pretty today so that's what I decided I was gonna go ahead and do so yeah I am thinking it's gonna be a beautiful day and that makes me very happy I'm on my lunch I went to go stop at my place to see if I could talk to people in the office and what do you know the time that I'm on my lunch is when they're on their lunch of course, right? Because that would be my luck. But, oh well, what are you going to do? I'm going to go and give them something to eat. I was meaning to bring lunch, but I didn't know what was for um, lunch today, and I totally forgot and whatever. So, I'm just going to go and get a little something. I'm really, really tired, and it's kind of crazy at work today. Not too bad, but it's still a little crazy. I'm just, I'm just gonna stop at McDonald's and get like a McChicken mini meal. No, just regular. Uh, want a coconut? Um, an orange. Icy? Yes. Alright, anything else? Nope, that will do it. Your total is 535. Thank you. Thank you. Changed my mind. I decided to get a number four, which is the two um, cheeseburgers. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, wow. She said she had a receipt for a salad. I'm like, wait a minute. You don't have a salad. Tell me the next car. <laughs> have a good one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Just got my mail. Uh, like I said, I changed my mind. I decided to get a two cheeseburger meal, which is a number four. It used to be a number two when I was a four. But anyway, so my issue is with this whole background check thing is it's like I already have a background check done with my work. Can't I just bring that in and see that I have nothing on my background? But obviously I can't do that. So the issue is, is like, so whatever number that, the number that is on their website is a 1888 number and which is fine. And so, but the thing is, is that when um, I call that number, it gives me two options. One is if you are wanting to lease an apartment, press one. If you have any other questions or need to reach the office, press two. And so I press two and it just goes straight to the voicemail. 
So I don't know whether or not that is the number that is correct and that's the number I need to call or I, I, I have no idea. But I've left like two voicemails. So you think that if it wasn't the right number, they would at least call me back and say, give me, give me an update. I'm on my way to the school for my van run. Oh my gosh, it is like 80 degrees outside. It is absolutely amazing. Ugh, I love this weather. I totally should have worn some pants. Because uh, it's actually kind of a little too warm to wear in jeans. But yeah, so uh, I am going to totally be sitting outside during in between van runs and enjoying the sun. Ugh, I love it, love it, love it. So the kids just got picked up for my first fan run. So I'm gonna sit outside and enjoy the sunshine and wait for the next group to come out. So still sitting out here enjoying the sunshine. So I tried to watch April and Justin's vlog, but my phone was being stupid and not loading because where I am, it's not getting 4G, it's only getting 3G. So yeah, kinda sucks, but now it's too late to watch it now because the kids should be coming out in like five minutes. So well, I'll just watch when I get home while I'm packing. Still have more packing to do. I'm sure you guys probably knew that. Just got done at the school. <sighs> Headed back to the center now. It's, I have to get a nice breeze and it feels really nice. All right, I am headed back to the center. Uh, a nice little breeze out. It feels really nice. I totally am digging the sunshine. I know I say this every time there's sunshine, but oh my gosh, it feels so nice. It makes me feel a lot less stressed and depressed and all those negative feelings. I'm sure you guys probably know that. It, like, sunshine, like I swear, is sometimes the best medicine. I really wish I didn't have to go back to work. I really wish I could just go home and just lay out in the sun. Hey guys, I just got off work and I went to my apartment to see if I could to see if I could catch the leasing office before they closed for the evening. And they were able to get my background check processed and I'm good to go and I'm gonna be able to move in on Saturday. So that is super exciting. So yeah, I am totally, totally excited about being able to move. Again, it's now officially real. My mind is just trying to process it. But yeah, so on my way home and I have dinner and just kind of do more packing and chill out the rest of the evening. As I was editing that last clip, I realized that I really don't sound excited about moving, but I really am. It just was, like I said, trying to process the fact that, oh my gosh, it is now officially real. And my mind was just still trying to wrap around that. So I know, like I said, I don't sound excited at all in the last clip, but I really am. I know I've said this before, I'm really excited, but I'm really nervous because, you know, I've never had roommates before. I've said this like five times already. I've either lived at home or lived on my own. I've never had roommates. So it'll be a new experience for me. But anyway, like I said, it's just, I know I don't sound excited, but I am. <laughs> Rosie's enjoying the sunshine. Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. You're loving. What a bumpkin. Rosie? You enjoying the sunshine? Yeah. What? Okay, start from there. I get that bonus. No. Really, it's not really helping the end of the ball. Fine. Yeah, I will put two. No, I. What you doing, puppy? Show you around. Rosie, hi baby. Come here. Come here. Rosie. Washington is 
Well, it's kind of, Utah's kind of the same way, where you'll go and there'll be a really nice area, and then you'll go a few blocks, and it'll be She's my baby. She seriously is the best dog. She seriously is the best dog ever. It's just kind of suburbia. Edmonds has a downtown area, but it's a lot of, that's where the ferry dock, one of the ferry docks is. So, um, if you give us a call, then we'll, like I said, we'll I'll look up some things for you. But you can pretty much look up anything online now. So. Yeah. So, um, so you'll be here on the seventh. Okay. Well, give us a call and. Um, let me get some information. So I am making a BLT sandwich for dinner. Uh, of course, I have toasted whole wheat bread, tomato, lettuce, and of course, the bacon. Yummy, yummy. All right, here it is. I'm just going to cover it. Oh, I'm so excited for this. Yum. So my mom just left to go pick up the kids from Young Men and Young Women's and it's going to take them home. I just had that bomb BLT, that sandwich is really good. So anyways, I'm going to go and get some more packing done. What you doing, baby? Hmm? So here's most of what I'm going to be taking with me. That's storage, so no, I know it's treating as this. And then I still have these boxes right here. And um, I know Still doesn't look like I haven't really made a dent in this room, but believe me, I have. Because, I mean, this stuff I'm going to pack last minute. Got this all cleaned out. Got drawers all cleaned out. Um, you know, just, it's, it's slowly but surely getting there. It's hard packing so many years worth of stuff into just a few boxes. But I still have the bathroom to do, but and I'm going to start packing things in here that I won't need for the rest of the week. So that's my plan. Like I said, slowly but surely getting there. Moody is just stressing me out. It's exhausting. It's crazy. I, do any of you guys get that? when you're moving and you know the thing is I have I haven't moved really a whole lot in my life. I lived in the same house for 23 years. But yeah we sold we sold that house when I was 23 and then I lived in that house for a year and then I lived on my own place for three years. And then I moved back home and lived there for two years and now I'm moving out. So I mean I've only moved like four times in my entire life. 